Hello everybody, it's your girl Lady with Soaring in the Building and tonight we're talking about magic and power. Magic and power. The last video I just not too long uploaded was all about empowerment. Now this here is all about magic and power. We're going to talk about that in this video for you guys. I hope you... Honey, I need some lip gloss Guys, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm sorry. So rude. So rude. My name is Lady Wasori. I am the owner and operator of a spiritual online botanica called Visions by Wasori, guys. I offer everything from spiritual occult items to client works to jars. Um, I do have rituals and all of that. And I also have an apprenticeship that is on Patreon and it is also linked in the bio. Let's talk about magic and power. Let me turn my light on y'all. There we go. Turn it down just a tad. We're talking about magic and power. Magic and power on today. Or tonight, honey. Y'all, I do have my notes right here so we can talk about it. Again, we're diving into magic and power. Listen, nothing happens 100% of the time. Nothing. Be it medicine, politics, mechanics, anything. Nothing is 100%. I can't stress that enough. And nothing is 100% certain. Okay? So, people have to understand that there are always exceptions to anything, things that prevent something from coming to be, and that is for a good reason, even if we don't know what that reason is. Sometimes it happens because this law of the universe is the principle of the cause and effect, okay? The ebb and the flow. There is a reason but we can, cannot sometimes always perceive it. Even when I do works for something, sometimes universe says this is not what it's supposed to be and it does not come into fruition. And this is what I'll be talking about. Likewise, no one's magic is effective 100% of the time. Nobody. Don't put yourself in a position to make yourself or others think that magic always works in every circumstance for everyone's favor because it does not and this is what i tell my clients it can feel that way um particularly when you begin with some success when you always it's happening and it's always coming but no one is invisible in their spell casting no one is invincible in their spell casting don't make the mistake of thinking that you are somehow less powerful or you are defeated when a spell does not um, work for your better good or for what you desire to work for. Don't feel like you're less powerful. It just means the universe said not now. If you really know your magic, <clears throat> you don't have to believe that you are 100% effective because you'll be wrong some of the time. Because you you also, you'll know that you hold the intention of what you do is correct, right? And for the good of all involved, and that's all I give out. That's all I can say. For better, far better for a spell that is incorrect and harmful. Thank you, Margaret. Spell that is incorrect and harmful. Even if you didn't know it consciously to fail rather than come true and cause harm. If you do something that is against um, what we call the greater good, if you do something harmful um, intentionally or not, you will have to live with the consequences of it. That is why we put the intention correct for all the good of all involved in all spells. Listen, y'all, you are part of the universe. And you must understand your magic will work in times that it is supposed to work. 
your desires, your urges, your intentions. This is all a part of the overall patterns of the universe. See, y'all try to put limits on magic. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. There is nothing wrong with trying, but do not think that you are almighty. Do not think that you are you dictate how everything will unfold in every detail because you don't. If you were, the world would be under your thumb and you'd be goddess or God as self, but you are not. Don't confuse control with empowerment. Empowerment helps you realize that you are a partner with the divine and magic. Often the universe, the goddess, the God, they know how to best unfold things to you, your ancestors. They're creating situations much better than what we could imagine or control ourselves. And sometimes it is our self-identity that causes us to want to express ourselves in bold or powerful yet unhealthy ways. And many come to magic and witchcraft wanting to hold knowledge and power over others. And that is not the way. When we do so, it is really our current self-created identity that is feeling vulnerable, that feels it is in jeopardy, y'all. Such actions mean we are not comfortable with who we are. You need exercises in self-esteem, baby, such as the magic mirror. And this is very important if you want to get um, empowerment. Okay? If you are trying to project your own low feelings onto someone else, then what do you think that means? Seriously. Consciously.